Hello students, I am here again with the second part of the same lesson, the essays that made trees bloom. The first part uh, in the last uh, video we have already discussed about the first part. The second part, now we will start. So after that, not uh, long after, the good old man dreamed again. And the spirit of the dog spoke to him and telling him how the wicked people had burned the meal made from the pine tree. Take the ashes of the meal, sprinkle them on the withered trees, and they will bloom again, said the spirit. Once again, just like before, the dog came in the dream and advised uh, the farmer and told him how the wicked people had burned the meal made from the pine tree and he also asked them to take the ashes from the meal and sprinkle them and sprinkle these ashes on the withered trees on the dry trees and as soon as he sprinkled the ashes on the dry trees they, they try, the tree will bloom again the dog said uh, to the farmer on the in his dream the old man the next day he awoke and went at once to his wicked neighbor's house where he found the miserable old pair sitting at the edge of their square fires in the middle of the fire uh, in the middle of the floor they were smoking and spining making a thread from the cotton you know that's called the spining This is called spining, making thread from cotton or like a wool and all. Now he went to ask asses. From time to time they warmed their hands and feet with the blades from some bits of the mill, while behind they lay a pile of the broken pieces. So they were uh, they warm their hands and feet from time to time from uh, the fire they burn by cutting the woods by cutting that um, hand mill and uh, that ball you know they cut and m make into pieces for firewood so the good old man he asks very humbly the asses though the coftious couple coftious already i told you uh, like uh, having a strong desire for the things that other people have they are called the coptious we uh, we also say this uh, like jealous people the coptious couple turned up their noses at him and scolded they were scolding him as if he were he, he were a thief they let him fill his basket with the ashes he they scolded him uh, and let him fill his basket with the ashes. On coming home, the old man took his wife into the garden. It uh, being very, it being winter, their favorite cherry tree was beer. Beer means uh, like this beer. The tree which doesn't have any uh, leaves and all. They are called the beer tree. Now. He sprinkled a pinch of ashes on it, on the bare tree, on the dry tree. He sprinkled a pinch of ashes on the dry tree and what the surprise, it sprouted blossoms until it became a cloud of pink blooms which perfumed the air. As soon as he sprinkled the ashes on the dry tree, it blooms with beautiful flower and perfumed the air. The news of this filled the village and everyone ran out to see the wonder everyone they ran out to see the wonder and at the same time the jealous couple also the coftious couple also they heard the story and gathering up the remaining assets of the mill and they gathered they collect the remaining assets of the mill and kept them to make weathered trees blossom and they also wanted uh, to make the weathered trees blossom 
uh, that's why they collect the remaining assets of the mill the kind old man hearing that his lot the daimyo as i have told you in the first line daimyo called the land owner so the king old man the kind old man hearing that his lord the daimyo was to pass along the high road near the village set out to see him taking his basket of assets as the train approached as they were approaching uh, then the old woman or that the old man what he did he climbed up into an uh, withered cherry tree uh, climbed up to a uh, old dried cherry tree that is to just by the way uh, roadside so now what uh, in the days of the daimyos in the day in the days of the daimyos it was a custom it was the custom what was the custom when their lot passed by when their lot like daimyos and all when they and their lot passed by uh, for all the loyal people they shut up their high windows they even pasted them fast with a slip of paper so has not to commit the impertinence here again one word we got here impertinence impertinence uh, it means rudeness or gustaki you know in hindi we can say impertinence means rudeness so as not to commit the rudeness of looking down on his lordship so no one should uh, look from the upper side to their lord all the people along the road would fall upon their hands and knees and remain prostrate one more word we got here prostrate you see prostrate mean lying flat on the ground all the people upon their hands and knees they were lying flat on the ground until the procession passed by till the procession they pass they were remain uh, lying flat on the ground the train drew near one tall competent man marched ahead one man you know uh, he was uh, on the front line so crying out to the people by the way he was uh, shouting at the people so that you know, like uh, he was instructing to the people who uh, were on the roadside uh, to get um, he was keep on saying get down on your knees get down on your knees and everyone kneeled down while the procession was passing suddenly the leader of the van caught sight of the aged man up in the tree he was about to call out to him in an angry tone he was uh, about to call him to get down from the tree but seeing he was such an old fellow uh, he pretended that he he did not noticed him and passed him by so when the daimyo's palanquin palanquin means see the meaning of this word palanquin is given here palanquin royal van it means royal van so daimyo's royal van drew near the old man taking a pinch of ashes from his basket what he did the old man scattered it over the dry tree then in a moment it burst into blossom the dry tree it blooms into blossom it blooms into flower and the daimyo he was delighted and he ordered the train he ordered the procession to be stopped and got out to see the wonder what it happened there after uh, scattering uh, a pinch of ashes on the dry tree the daimyo he stopped he was quite delighted to see this and he called the old man uh, he thanked him and ordered present of silk robes spong cake a spong cake means very delicious and very uh, soft cake he ordered that uh, he should be given all this uh, silk robes spong cakes fans and other rewards to be given him he he even invited him to his castle he also invited him in his uh, castle so the old man went gleefully the old man he he has gone from there happily uh, 
to share his joy with his dear old wife to share his joy his happiness with whom with his wife but when the greedy neighbor heard of it again the greedy neighbor the covetous man he heard about this then he also did the same thing he took some of the magic asses and went out on the highway there he waited until and he was waiting until a daimyo's train came along and instead of kneeling down what he did like the crowd he climbed he climbed and weathered a cherry tree he climbed a weathered cherry tree just like the old farmer he also uh, climbed to a weathered tree a dry cherry tree then when the daimyo himself was almost directly under him he was just directly under that weathered uh, dry tree dry cherry tree where uh, the evil man was climbing then what he did he threw a handful of ashes over the tree he threw the handful of ashes on the dry tree but it did not change a particle also the wind blew the fine dust in the noses and eyes of the daimyo and his wife the wind blew and this fine dust uh, it went into the uh, noses and eyes of the daimyo and his uh, daimyo's and his wife such uh, sneezing and choking it is spoiled all the pomp and dignity of the procession it is spoiled all the pomp and dignity pomp means some uh, uh, we can say some uh, gathering people they gathered in a uh, royal occasion you know that is called the pomp and it all is spoiled with this with this it all is spoiled the man whose business uh, it was to cry get down on your knees the man who was there uh, front uh, he ordered the man to get down uh, on your knees and, and he bring the old man by his collar drag him from the tree and tumble him and his o oh, as basket it went into the ditch by the road then beating him soundly he left him for that uh, he was uh, been beaten so badly and they left him for that thus the wicked old man died in the mud but the kind friend of the dog uh, leaf dwelled mint and leaf in peace and plenty and both he uh, the old farmer and his wife lived to a green gold age they were living happily peacefully so in this lesson my dear students uh, a lesson is there if you do good for people then everything uh, good uh, will be happen to you if you uh, are not kind to some people if you are not good then the uh, you are you know god also punish them so this much only in this lesson hope you have understood and i request all the students that uh, you please uh, read go through the lesson once and wherever you are getting problem like you are not understanding the words uh, some words uh, meaning are given in the uh, textbook also but if some other words are there that the meaning of those words you are not understanding then please i uh, request you all that you should uh, go through the dictionary